All right, Morong Bataan. And uh, when we got down here, we uh, bumped into some bikers, uh, Pampanga Crusaders. Um, they, they actually popped into the resort and uh, I just wanted to give them a little shout out. They had a charity ride, so well worth it. And uh, officially they, they were, I think they were doing a charity ride. I saw signs on their motorcycles and stuff. Visit their Facebook and uh, I'll have a link here in the description. Today we are back where we were a year ago when the slam dunk, uh, uh, what do you call it, pandemic came down on us and uh, we are going to enjoy a couple of days at this place. So let me show you. Through the window, let's see if I can get a little view out here. So we're back at the Island Waters Resort, and we're going to spend we're going to spend uh, a couple of days here. Just arrived late, late last night, in time to put up some pictures for a beautiful, beautiful sunset. And I'll slap a couple of pictures in here. So let's go and take a walk around. I'm going to see uh, see what my wife is doing. She said she was going to go and uh, and uh, make us some lunch or whatever. I don't see her down there but they have a little cooking area here where guests actually can come in and, and uh, you can cook your own food. They don't have a restaurant uh, unless you have a catering, catered event. And formally they're not open yet. So we're just down here to visit. The owner is a good friend of ours and we spent a lot of time together. All right, so how is it coming? Cooking, cooking. What are we cooking? Some eggplants? Yeah. I don't know if you can see that in there, but yeah, some fried eggplants and some fish cooked earlier. All uh, right, some fried fish turned up, yeah, sounds good, it smells good. And I'm gonna get me some eggs and then we'll go from there. So later on, me and my wife are gonna take a walk up this beach, beautiful beach. Um, they have had uh, this year they had three storms come through on top of everything else with keep, uh, keeping the resort closed. They actually got hit three times by, by um, storm. Um, and I, I can't remember, Elysis was one of the typhoons. The center came right over here. Look at this guys. And we're gonna have a walk up there. Uh, we have another friend of ours that has a Airbnb up there and we're gonna head on that way. And again, he is not open either, but we hear rumors and we'll, we'll, we'll see what those rumors entails. Um, some people say they are supposed to open up and uh, let's turn the camera away from the sun. Maybe we can get another view so you have beach resorts all the way down around in on that side and uh, we have been down there walking before and uh, now we're going to take a little walk so we're going to have the lunch and then we'll take a walk so come on for that walk so this is what you prepared today uh, some tilapia some scrambled, scrambled egg. egg they became scrambled today uh, by default uh, the pan is not sticky. Well, the pan it's more. Non-sticky. <laughs> it's not. It's not a non-sticky pan. Yeah. yeah. 
right? And some, uh, what do you call it? Uh, eggplants. Good nutrition. So, all right, let's go for the walk. Uh, all right, so. Got that food, got that dinner, got everything done, and then a whole day passed, and we never walked on the beach yesterday. Uh, and we kind of, hey, Hello. hey, what's up, mama, 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 <laughs> what's up, mama, All right, now, so what we did was, um, uh, what we did was, we can go that way, yeah. Um, we ended up spending time with our friend and, and uh, had a surprise visit from some people. And it ended up getting about 8 o'clock before we decided to, to bunker up. And uh, 24 hours later, we're taking this walk. <laughs> so let's go well, anyway. Um, it is pretty amazing here in the sense that these resorts, these resorts are still not open, and uh, uh, at least not officially. There is uh, uh, nobody taking any bookings, but but I I have seen some places where people actually doing walk-ins. So so I don't know what's going to happen, but. This is Philippines at the current current time, where where you have a lot of uh, restrictions still. But I do hear that some of this is going to change. I just love the scenery here. It's just like um, man, look look at his building and the on the uh, roof back up there. They, that's all in waters, um, and not only did they have, not only did they have, uh, what do you call it, uh, three, uh, no, what, what I'm going to say is, sorry guys, uh, not only did they have uh, the pandemic to deal with for a whole year now, where literally have no income, but they also during this season, 2020, had three typhoons go through here. So it ripped the flashing on the buildings and it did all kinds of stuff. Um, it, it's amazing that the roof actually stayed on. Uh, the, the, the waves were actually, literally, when they smashed up against that seawall, the water actually got to the second floor and up underneath and in there. That's how much storm they had here. It's unbelievable. We are just taking a little early morning walk. We're probably probably going to head back home today. Uh, it comes as we see how the day goes and we might we might stay but um, we have another friend that owns another Airbnb up up the street there, or up the beach, and uh, we probably go there and visit with him. Maybe maybe one night or so. We'll we'll see what happens. All right, some people out walking their dogs on the beach. I hope they uh, are responsible dog owners. As you can see, the beaches are pretty empty, but it's also pretty early. It's about 8.30 in the morning, 8 o'clock. But it's uh, mostly local locals who are coming out and uh, hanging out, local fishermen. And they, they have a few things going. <laughs> are baiting the dogs in the salt water. I, I guess that could take care of the... Um, little critters that goes into their skin. The water here is pretty salt. Um, I took a dip around, yeah, 
eight, nine o'clock last night, and, and it was pretty, it was pretty, um, what do you call it, salty water, for sure. Some of these boats here, I think they're also um, they're also for tourists. Tourists. Uh, there is island hopping. Um, I'm not quite sure. I've never done that. Uh, island hopping. We never done that. But but they have. They, there is some small islands out there. They say it's pretty nice. And I think some of these boats are part of that. You can. Hire a captain for a day and go island hopping. Don't know exactly how much and all that, but we we should do that. So the other thing is yesterday. Yesterday I was going to pull a drone out and try to see if we could uh, get get it in the air. It's been sitting around for a while. And uh, and uh, I, when I was about to pull it out yesterday afternoon, it started. The wind started getting really. Um, it started getting real windy, so I decided to just hang it up for that day. I am not, you know, I'm not so uh, fluent in flying those things yet so I'm I want to be careful don't want to lose it for sure okay so there, this is uh, island waters this is where we're staying it's uh it's it's pretty pretty nice it's uh and then um, the next door the next door neighbor just sold uh, yeah it sold already so, um, what was the uh, what was the name of it before? I don't, uh, I, don't I don't remember either. But um, they uh, this place had also got hit pretty hard. And if you look at it, if you look at it now, the they have actually totally replaced the seawalls. Um, because these sea walls, what, what happened here was that the entire land behind the sea wall came out and it flushed out. And by the way, I think that up there, they're actually building a new pole. So, um, but it looks good, it looks good. So the sea wall here um, ha has been redone and that, um, when I spoke to my friend, the owner over here, he said that they did a pretty darn good job on it. So it looks good, it looks solid. And uh, if you see it, they got a little smarter than many here. Um, they have, is it three inch, four inch pipe, piping, where they have gather up all the water there the problem with with his place was that the they didn't have enough drainage so now they have started doing this where they I, I don't know if you can see that the, the hole there is like one two three four five six seven just on the short little wall so when the water and the rainy season starts it just goes uh, comes down really quick man this is this is crazy here too. Um, they painted this so beautifully, but how in the world? Ah, the stairs are so low. This 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 was strange. Uh, but look at that! It's a very artistic paint on the wall. Pretty cool. So yes, my my wife is. Hanging around, she's out blogging today too, and uh, we 
we got to start getting a little more active. We, we've been, you know, I couldn't believe it, but I have never, never been over 76 kilo before, and suddenly I'm 81, so. So I got to take care of, take care of that. So it doesn't go too far. It's a beautiful place here, though. I love it here. Taking a walk outside here, um, wanted to get you to see this because during the pandemic, they came through here and concreted this. It was just a dirt road. And they have now concreted it pretty much all the way down to to the end end down there, maybe another three quarter of a kilometer, um, uh, 1,500 feet or so down this road. So they have now fixed everything here. But anyway, it's beautiful here. Um, what we have, what we have pretty much is uh, back here. You know, that's, that's a beautiful thing with Morong, and I know there's other places too, but uh, if you if I pan around here, I'll give a little bit to you. Uh, they have built this wall too during, during the pandemic. They actually came down this way. It's brand new. That one was a couple, three years ago. But anyway, you see the mountain ranges behind this big wall and it's a beautiful scenery. All right, guys, that was a little walk in the sunrise, not the sunset. So we, we will come back with some more videos as the week progresses, but we are probably heading back home today, like I said earlier. So we'll see. But anyway, thank you for watching. God bless. And uh, smash that subscribe button and the bell. Get notifications. And uh, we'll see you at the next video. Bye-bye. Wait. Don't click that button unless, of course, you hit the subscribe button. And then you can move on. And while you're down there, hit the notification button as well. And if you leave a like or a comment, we will personally respond to you on all or any request you might have. And thank you for watching, and we'll see you again at the next video.